I'm Kalia Parker and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next and you up next. Keep the queens go hard. Rise a star on the big scene. Make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat. Don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. Who got next? Yeah, baby. S L T Nation. What it do? Another fire episode of Sports Life Talk, a platform that shows exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right. It is season four. It is 2024, the year of the Mamba. And we got Mo Guest lined up. We told y'all the slate in 2024 was going to be crazy. And we are now here now. And this is our year. Let's make some noise. We are trying to find rising stars, super sensation, future phenoms in our communities who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. And today, somebody, hey, somebody, hey, I don't know. I don't celebrate. Somebody, <laughs> no party. I don't care what you got to do but today we finally got a ladies and gentlemen that's right one of the dopest hoopers if not the dopest hooper in the dfw metroplex freshly signed the paper still wet she going to texas a&m to become a aggie the four star in a sports life talk she's a five star that's right this one of the top players in the country let's make some noise for south grand prairie very own the six one combo guard tp Talia Parker <laughs> TP, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Hey, we super excited about having you on the show. I remember the first time we got to see you play, and I remember we was like, D you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> I was like Talk Nation in South Grand Prairie. Y'all don't know this, but we was there last year. Some of y'all weren't messing with us, but we had Joy Madison Key, our cook on the show. What's that? Madison Key. We had Joy Madison on the show. And uh so we back now. I am your host, the mouth. Uh, the South B. Jones, the OG, all things Louisiana. Put your L's up, Mr. Yeet is in the building. And I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, the man with the hat, the other side of the logo, the quiet storm. The head coach, <laughs> Kev, how you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great, B. Jones, but what took us so long, man? We she was been on here like eight months ago. What, what happened? Man, this young lady is doing everything, man. She had to travel around the country for AAU. She had to travel around the country for all of these visits. And we ain't even gonna talk about her being a beauty queen, a future model. We we ain't even gonna talk about that on this show. We ain't gonna talk about that. We gonna we, we might have to have a part two of this show. But all right, TP, before we get this thing cracking, all right, we we, we gotta do this rules around here, the SLT, okay? So we need you to raise your right hand and we need you to reach over your left shoulder we need you to grab that buckle and pull it down and scrap up that's right let's go to work this is about to be a crazy one y'all we about to jump this thing off and turn it all the way up turn up the volume before we get it started though we need y'all to do us a huge favor tp buckled up we ready for the ride but now it's your moment to shine to play a big tremendous impact like i told you 2024 is here you guys have been blessing us so much thank y'all but we need you to go take us over that line and make 2024 the best year out of all of them that's right all we need you to do is three things the podcast trinity T talia you know what the podcast trinity is no what is it all right well, we, we gonna hey, see that's what a lot of people say they be like i don't know what it is mouth of the south well i'm gonna tell you what it is we need you to smash that subscribe button become a part of the sports life talk family we got over 500 episodes in the archives number two Number two, we need you to hit that like button. And I'm talking about hit it with authority. I'm talking about smash that thing as many times as Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg will allow you to hit it so this show can just bubble all the way up to the top. And number three, 
Last but not least, Sharon is Karen. We just got out of holiday season, but it's never too late to share something as amazing like this and share the story of this young lady. So that's what we need to do. Five first five people that come in your head to send this show to them. It's just that simple. TP. I got yeah. you. Is South Grand Prairie gonna rock with us? Come on now. Yes, we got uh, you. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's go, South Grand Prairie. Let's show them who got the best high school in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex on the count of three. Let's do it like we true to it. One, two, three. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, if you smash that subscribe button, welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. That's right, KT and I. We don't do fans. We don't do followers. We only do family around here, fam. So when y'all see us in these streets, y'all make sure y'all come give us some pound. But before that, TP, what's your favorite emoji that you're sending out right now? Probably got to be a red heart, man. All right, the, the pink. You said the pink red heart or the red heart. Just red heart. All right, throw us a red heart in the chat if you did any of those three things just so we can personally recognize you. And what we going to tell them, KT? Thank you. That's it. That's all we want to say. Thank you for your love and your support and helping us to keep this amazing energy going. All right, TP, you waited eight months. You hey, let's get it. I'm ready. We got, we got her before she left high school, so this right here is going to be, we're going to look back on this one when you get drafted in the WNBA, little sis. So okay, we, okay. we got to make this one a good one, all right? Uh-huh. Are you ready for this Boys Life Talk? Initiation. All right, TP, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Young Moody, Lil Baby. <sighs> Gonna... NBA and probably Chief Keith, yes. What? Yes. So, oh, Chief Keith? What's the first thing you said again? Nudie. Chief Keith, Nudie, young boy, gonna. Yeah, I, I, I knew she said NBA young boy. I yeah, I heard I, the NBA. I ain't gonna say nothing, but that boy it, from Louisiana. Nobody cares that he's from Louisiana. <laughs> I'm doing it. You didn't throw me off because you keep saying Louisiana. I've been tired of hearing about it. But that first one threw me off. All right, Talia, what we like to do, we have to rank everybody's top five and the highest you can get is five. Okay. We, we've been waiting eight months on this beat, you so I can't, I can't do it dirty. Even though I don't know who that So we're going to give her... How this is All-American. This is All-American, yeah, KT. Yeah, how old are you, Talia? I'm 18. B. Jones, you know what that means. All right, let's go. See, I took care of you, so you got to take care of me later on the show, all right? Just, just remember. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> all right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? I would have to say Superman. He's just strong. I feel like nobody can beat him, so that's my favorite superhero. You Did you watch Batman vs. Superman? Did you watch that movie? I did. So that you was did. fake news. Yeah, you know it somebody beat him. You, yeah, you know somebody beat him in that movie, right? But this is your show, so I just, you know... <laughs> I get off my soap box. Cap. All right, Batman beat him. All right, so since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Uh, hmm. I would say a song by Young Nudie. He just, that's my favorite artist. Yeah, but you got to give us a song. What's that one song? Because I don't know anything about him. This is my first time ever hearing him. Hearing about him. What about you, B? Yeah, I've never heard of Young Nudie, and I, I, got, I got a feeling it's going to be very interesting when I put him in my Apple Music <laughs> <laughs> and listen to his top say, songs. I would say peaches and eggplants. Listen oh, to that on your own time. Listen to that on your own. Time. Peaches, peaches and eggplants. Eggplant. Oh, that's going to be a real good one. I, I don't know how safe it is. Listen, that will be Jones. All right, so Talia, we got a running debate on the show. So okay. I would rather be a singer. B Jones would rather be a dancer. Mm-hmm. We're going to let you decide this episode which is going to be which. So would you rather be a singer or a dancer? I would probably say a singer. Yeah, I she look like a singer. Yeah. <laughs> she does. All my dancers show up in the comments. We're going we to get Talia's right. Yeah, all five of y'all. Let's show up. All right, uh, Talia. So what is your favorite uh, pair of shoes to play in? Probably Kyrie's. Ooh. Yeah, I love Kyrie's. Favorite shoe by far. Even when he go work for, this, for the China company, you still going? That's still my guy, and I'm still repping his shoes. All right. No doubt. 
So what is something that basketball has taught you that you can use when you're not on the court? Not everybody can come to the talk with me. Whoa. So you all <laughs> smart with the question. Hey. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lot of people come over here and hey, teaches you discipline and patience. She's, you don't want to smoke. So I, I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, Talia. So we have our educator series where we highlight educators from around the world. Okay. With that said, we want to know who is your favorite teacher and why? I would have to say Miss Hursley. She's my anatomy teacher. Um, she's just a black queen. I love her. Um, she teaches me about my body, things I can do to help my body. And I really love her. Like she really helped me in so many, so many ways. Yeah, so I'm very grateful for her. She's not only a teacher, but she's always she's someone that I can trust, like a best friend. See it? That's dope. I love the way you answered that. All right, so how would your coaches and teammates describe you? Hmm, very energetic. I bring the personality. I bring the dance moves. I just bring the energy. I'm the personality, everything. You just said you didn't yeah, want to be together. I wasn't going to say nothing, but get her. Yeah. You're supposed to be singing. I no, I'd rather sing than dance. I, I'm shy. I get shy. No. <laughs> who, who's shy? Get, yeah, we, 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 you ain't no shy. shy. We know you're not I shy. So, hey, somebody throw a basketball. Y'all gonna see a whole different person come out. That ain't, ain't nothing shy about that at that game, is it? Uh, no. no. <laughs> All right, so B. Jones and I, we love to travel. When we travel, we gotta eat. So All before right. one of your games, what's that one food spot that you're gonna recommend and what's your go-to meal there? I would have to say this place called Passion Cafe. They got the best wings and the fries is good. The ranch is not better than Wingstop, but I'm telling you, that food is so good. Get a 10 count wings and the fries and it's seasoned, it has ranch on it, it's good. I'm telling you. Now, Talia, can you eat 10 wings? Yes. <laughs> what? She said, she, I can eat 10 wings when I'm full and I'm a heavy eater. Ain't no way you eat 10 wings. Bro, I have a fast metabolism. Like, I, I get hungry. I'm yeah, you got you to gotta understand, B. Jones. Us skinny people. Yeah, they eat. <laughs> you, know, <I> mean. <laughs> you yeah, you eat with me, KT. But what about wing stop getting the, the plug on on the ranch? <laughs> hey, they, <laughs> they ranch is elite. They ranch is elite. That's what it's, everybody keeps telling me. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't eat ranch, TP. I don't eat ranch. Bro, come on. Wing <laughs> stop is the best ranch. I'm telling you. If you don't get any ranch, get wing stop ranch. Grab your favorite sports drink and settle in because today's episode is a slam dunk of adrenaline and, and inspiration. We're about to lift the curtain on the life of a high school athlete who's, re who's redefining the game. From early morning practices to late night victories, this, this journey is a playbook of resilience and dedication. I'm KT, that's my brother B. Jones, and this is the You Got Next podcast, where we bring you play-by-play -play high school sports greatness. Get ready for a front row seat to passion that fuels our guests' unstoppable spirit. Let's tip off this episode and shoot for the stars. So, B. Jones, go ahead and take it away, brother. Yeah, we just ain't in 2024. We got new ring. Hey, we just turned that thing up another notch. KT, that was smooth. That was dope. TP, super excited to have you on the show. I, you know, I ain't, I ain't slept in about three weeks ever since you signed up. I was like, oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, Lord, what we going to do? So I, I practiced extra hard for the show. No, I'm just <laughs> TP, no. Now, we call you TP. What, what nickname your peoples gave you? What, what's the nickname that you go by around the house? Man, TP. You got really? Yes, it's TP. I got that one right. All right, we, we might have to give you another one. We, we might have to give you another nickname or something like that. We don't want to take take the the family stuff from you. But all right, TP, let's take them back to the beginning. Every mm -hmm. every superhero has a story. You and to us, you are a superhero. You an all American. Your game is one of the best we've seen all across the country. And me and Kevin and traveled all, just about everywhere over this past year and saw talent coming out of every surface in the country. But uh, it's it's very rare we get to see somebody a diamond like yourself so with that being said tell us how you got into basketball and what made you fall in love with the game okay so it started when i was three that's when i first started playing basketball i started in a little league um so i was a ballerina i played soccer i did every other sports but like i don't know it was something about basketball that just made me want to keep playing it and i think when I was younger, my favorite thing to do was just block shots, okay? So I'm this little and I'm blocking people taller than, taller, than, taller than me shots. And that's what really made me stick with it. And I just grew the love for the game and yeah. 
Well, your, your, your game, the love that you share for the game is kind of crazy because we, I'm telling y'all, y'all seeing this young lady, she's smiling in her pictures. But when you're on that court, it's a total different beast. I'm, and, and I hate to do this to you, but I, I'm a big fan of player comparisons. All right. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan of player comparisons. And uh, I saw your game and it was a certain person that came to mind. And, and I know I'm going to get I know I'm going to get killed in the comments, KT. But I saw I saw Kobe Bean when I saw this young lady play. Um, who, 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 who would you compare yourself to, TP? That's a good one. That's a good one. Maybe Kalia Cooper. Ooh. I had all my Kalia, I had you on my fantasy team this year. <laughs> that, she is tough, man. Tough. She's yeah, tough. I like Kalia Cooper. Yeah. We saw her come to Dallas and just get the wings the blue. I'm talking about she ate us. She ate us up. That was when Candace Parker was with this guy. And I was like, man, who is that? Kim was like, man, that's Kalia Cooper. I was like, I'm getting her next year on my team, and I sure okay. got her. So for those people who hadn't seen you play, how would you describe your game though? Is it fast pace? Are you running gun? Because I've seen a lot of stuff. I seen the killer crossover. I seen the hezzy. I seen the pull up J. I mean, you could give you could you a five tool player. I mean, you literally a, a, a you can impact every single square into that court so how would you describe your game i would say i'm fast play fast pace um i push the ball in transition very versatile like i can go anywhere point guard wing post anything i feel like i don't have a set position um yeah well, I tell you what, when I when I got the opportunity to stand next to you, you dwarfed me. I was so embarrassed. I was like, man, I was looking up at Talia. I was looking up at Talia. Like, have, you, have you always been, have you always been the tall kid in the class? Yes, man. I have. I ain't even gonna lie, I have. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you use that length on the defensive side of the ball. I know to me you're an offensive killer, but you use that length all the time on the defensive side. We're gonna talk a little bit about the gameplay and some of your, your teams you play with. But uh, I gotta ask you because because everybody want to talk about 24. You know we've seen some very interesting numbers come through here over this past year. But I got when I see that number two three. It's it's kind of synonymous with a big name in basketball, and to me, that's you got to be the best player on the court to wear that number two, three. Not the best player on the team. I'm talking about the best player on the court. You got to carry that swag and have that that type of fire behind you. Yep. Why did you choose the number twenty three? Man, so originally I wanted twenty one, but they didn't have twenty one. So I'm like, you know what, twenty three. That's my number. That's the number I want, and I stuck with it. And yeah, did, did, did you did you know that MJ wore twenty three when you selected yep. it? Yep. <laughs> hey, did, did you know that you was gonna become one of the best players in the country? Come on, man! I knew this. So when did you when did you recognize that you were pretty good at this game, Talia? I would have to say so probably seventh grade. So I had got my first offer and it was from Texas Tech when I was in the seventh grade. I didn't even know what an offer was. I was so like, what? And that's when I just, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm actually kind of good at this. And it just went been up since. Well, the numbers is crazy. I mean, I, I looked at some of your stats and I was like, this, I, I, it just, it's very rare. Now, like I said, I only saw you play in AAU, Paul. So I'm super excited about getting out there to SGP and seeing you guys hoop. But during SGP, you guys have faced some of the best competition in the country. You tag team up with another top five-star player in Adele Tack who committed to South Carolina. So if y'all don't know, that's the that young ladies a beast. And then they got TP who committed to Texas a and Y'all literally show, show heart. I mean, I'm talking about, it seemed like everybody in the country lined up on a piece of that SGP act, action. Okay. And y'all had to actually defend the house on ESPN. So my question to you is, what was it like playing on ESPN? And did you get nervous? Were you, were you nervous before going out there on television? Yeah. Yes, I was so nervous, but at the end of the day, I just remembered who I was, and I just stayed true to myself, you know? And I knew who I had on my team. I had faith in all my teammates, and I knew what they can do. And we all dogs. I knew we was all dogs, so. When you, when you play with so much talent like that, do you find yourself rising to the occasion, kind of pressing, creating your game, or do you sit back and let the game come to you more naturally since you were surrounded by so much talent? No, I definitely sit back and let the game come to me. I feel like that's when I play my best is when I let the game come to me. And I don't play nervous or anxious. Um, but yeah, I love playing with dogs. I love playing with people who want to win. Um, and I definitely had that on my team, so. 
Now, 2024 is the year of the Mamba. So everybody that come on the show got to answer this question. There's always that moment in your career where you had to rise and become a dog of all dogs. You had to become the Black Mamba yourself and do something heroic and crazy and yeet worthy. So my question to you is, when was your Mamba moment, Talia? Tell us about that moment when you had to just be great. Man, I would definitely have to say, I think it was either my sixth grade. I think it was sixth or seventh grade. I think it was sixth grade. And this was right before I found out that my cousin had passed away, sadly. And once I found that out, I dropped 40 points. That was probably my highest, my highest game. That's a mama moment for real. Yeah. Man. All right, well, Coach New. Coach Johnny Taylor, y'all can see we dressed out. Y'all can see we wearing that uh, that proud Aggie maroon. And uh, y'all already know what part of this conversation is coming up. You just recently committed and signed to play basketball for Coach Taylor, who could be considered one of the top coaches in the country. And uh, you gave him your you gave him your signature. So now this is uh this is your last trip around the sun at SGP. But next year when we turn the TV on, we're gonna be getting to see you out there on the court doing your thing for the Aggies. What what made you uh and and, I, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a preface to this too. Um because doing my research on your TP, I saw a picture. And on that picture, I don't know why, but you, your mom and your dad, y'all looked real good in that LSU. I, I don't I saw, I saw I saw you with the LSU uniform and I said, "Oh no, I got to call coach Reedus. What happened? What happened, coach ben Mitchell? What happened, coach David? What what happened with LSU?" But no, I'm, not, I'm just playing with y'all. Coach Reedus no call. <laughs> he going to call us up be like, "Nah, you can't do that, brother." No, nah, I just messing with y'all. But what made you choose Texas A&M and coach Newton and coach Taylor that amazing staff? So when I went on my visit it was just a different feeling. Uh, it was a feeling that I never felt on any other village. My job in the Duke, Oregon, and LSU, big schools, you know? And it was like, I just knew it. I just knew that that was the place for me. Um, and then I really liked how Coach Joni is a leader. She leads, she teaches these girls how to be women. And I love how she puts them in good positions to be great in life and to be successful. I just love that. I love that about them. I love the coaching staff from head, from top to bottom. Coach Flip, that's my dog. I know they're going to help me get better mentally, physically, and emotionally on and off the court. Um, and yeah, and they had and they have 12 men, and that's what I want to. I want to go into college to be um, a sports broadcaster. And they have my they had they best at it, so that's what made me say yes. Sound like we're going to have to send you with a uh, with a sports life talk credential, media bad badge down there, so you can be doing some <laughs> interviews and, and all that stuff. So we we can we we gonna let you do your internship with us, all right? So definitely, okay. when you get back, we go we got a job for you for sure that you're gonna be able to get to rock the mic. Now let me ask you, I saw UCLA. You you mentioned only three or four schools, but I'm telling you, your list was ridiculous. You could have right. basically went just about anywhere you wanted to go. Uh, did you know instantly it was gonna be at A and M, or was like that weekend when you got in the car with your pop? She was like, "This is it." Or did it kind of hit you after you started visiting some other places? So, a was my last visit. So, um, we scheduled them for my last visit. So, originally, I went to a school before then. And I was like, okay, you know what? I actually like this school. Then, I went to my a visit and my mind changed. I prayed about it. And God gave me the vision. And I signed that paper. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. Now, what you going to major at when you get to campus? I want to be, uh, so communications, starting communications, and then work my way up. I want to be in front of that screen talking. I want to write my own scripts, you know. What, what was the reaction from that staff when you called them and said, hey, I, I want to be an Aggie? <laughs> I had tricked them. I was like, hey, thank you guys for recruiting me. But unfortunately, like, I, I completely. Oh, it. that's <laughs> cold. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold blooded. Oh man, my stomach would have dropped. I would have said, God, yeah. dog. Mind hey. you, I had, had FaceTime him, so it wasn't like a red call. I was like, hey, I just got the phone with, with another school, and I just want to let you know, like, thank you for recruiting me. Yes, I got Coach Joni, and I felt so bad. Oh <laughs> man. Now, have you, have you, like, thought about the fact that you're going to get the opportunity to play against the OUs? I mean, you're going to travel a I mean, the SEC then became a whole different animal. <laughs> I mean, you're going to travel to Florida, South Carolina. You're about to play some of the best talent in, including your, your, your teammate, your 6 8 running mate right now. Yeah. You excited about the opportunity to play SEC basketball? Yeah, I'm excited. 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 I'm excited.
Yes, it's the biggest stage. It's the best in the country. So yes, I'm excited. We ain't ducking no smoke. So what's up? Oh wait, oh wait! I just, I just need that jersey sign. Well, you finally get out there, so I can put that on my wall. Let's talk a little bit about TP off the court, then we are gonna get out of here. But uh, I saw, I got the opportunity to see you. Uh, you know what's crazy is you could, you could have bragged about anything in this world. Uh, you could have talked about your your fifty point games. You could have talked about playing with all Americans and and all of the amazing trips that you've been on. But you know what you were proud of the most? Going right. to prom, and me and Kevin just looked at each other. We was like, "That's sports life talk. That's sports life talk right there. That's what. That's what we want to get on this show because yeah. you were just a young lady. You was a seventeen year old young lady, and uh, you kept you kept it all in perspective. And I commend you for that. But uh, but what 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 is TP like off the court, and what do you find yourself doing just for fun? So just for fun, not many people know this, but I actually enjoy reading. I enjoy cooking, listening to music, meditating, being in my own space. And I'm really big on God, my faith. My faith is big. I take pride in my faith in my God. Um, but off the court, I would say I'm definitely like a funny person, definitely goofy. Um, I can be a homebody. Sometimes I like to be outside. I like to take pictures. Um, yeah. Now, I, now when I hear the word meditating, I yeah. think sleep. I can't meditate. I didn't try. Oh. What's the key to meditating? Because if I meditate for five minutes, I'm <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> that meditation become a nap. What's the what's the secret to meditating? I would say it's more mental than anything. Uh it starts with your mindset, just like anything else. And deep breaths. Um yeah, it's actually not that hard. <laughs> so, <right. laughs> looking at me like I don't know what your problem is. It really ain't that hard. Hey, sh- hey, you manifested some amazing things when you meditated. So uh, we we know that you uh, we know that you an all American and you getting them buckets. So Kevin, you you ready to take this thing to the next level? TP, you want to have some fun? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> To Leah Parker, welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show with KT and I. We're gonna go one on one, and you are now officially calling all the shots. Okay, okay. Have, you, have you ever played with you before? No, you answered the yeah. question dancing versus singing, but we're about to ask you, we're about to take that to a whole nother level. We're about to crank it up. That we're gonna crank the dial up a little hot, the heat a little bit high on this one. All right, so the rules are very simple. We both give you an option, whichever one of those options or scenarios you select, that host gets a point. The first host to get two points will win this episode's game of championship rounds. All right? Let's go. All right, let's go. KT is defending champ. We're not even going to talk about it. And I'm <laughs> look, you know who I'm looking at you. You know you're wrong for that. But poor selections. But uh, Kevin is defending champ. Let's go, KT. Would you rather hustle back on defense, get a block, you get the rebound, you hit someone with a killer crossover, the crowd goes wild, Okay. look at the clock, and with time expiring, you knock down the game winning three or or you on ESPN and it's 10 seconds left to go in the game. You are the number one player on your team and you playing against the number one player on their team. They dribble down. You rip them. You look up. You got a teammate like Adele uh, 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 cutting to the goal. You hit them with the assist. They lay it in at the buzzer. Y'all win the game and everybody's rushing the court. Okay. So basically with mine, you get the steal and the assist to win the game. Mm-hmm. I would say the steal and the assist. I have to go with the steal and the assist. <laughs> there we go. Let's go, SGP. Let's turn this up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling real bullish now. It's, it's nothing like getting that first round under your belt, cause, cause that, that just exponentially increased my chances of winning this thing. All right, here we go. Round number two. Would you rather, after you're all said and done with basketball, and you get the opportunity to, to take yourself on, on the career of your choice, you get to pick whichever team you want to be. And you can go in and be a sideline reporter starting from the bottom, but you got to start from the bottom. You ain't going to be at the top, but you got to grind it out. But whatever team you want to be, NBA, WNBA, football, MLS, whatever, but you got to start at the bottom and be a sideline reporter for that team or host your own food show on ESPNU where you get to travel the world, interview another high school players and college players, get to know more about them, while eating at some of their favorite places to eat in the towns that they play in. Mm, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. 
I don't have to go at the ESPN one again, man. I'd rather be a silent reporter. So you? Hold on, wait, who get that one? Mouth you, sound? man. She said you. Goodness. I said you. You said, you said me. You said B. Jones, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That that actually ties it up. I mean, that's it. That, that That's done. That seals it up. But for the last round, we still going to have a little bit of fun because before the show, KT and I, we are super sneakerheads. As a matter of fact, all of y'all come hang out with us Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We go live. And during our live show, I do a segment called The Drop. So over the last four years, we have established these amazing collections of sneakers. So we thought we was going to test your sneakerhead game. All right. We're going to see if Talia Parker sneakerhead friend. All right. So on the count of three, we are going to you're going to say hold that sneaker. And then when you say that, we're going to show you a pair of sneakers that we personally curated out of our collection that we thought represented you. All right. All right. All right. On the count of three, hold that sneaker. Here we go. One, two, three. Hold that sneaker. Let me see what he throwing up first, because I ain't like the way he de moved late. I had to go. I had to go with them Joni Taylors, man. Man, I like the gray ones, man. Those are cute. You like his? Yes, I like his. Oh, at least you got good shoe taste and everything else. Oh. It's questionable. <laughs> good grief! It don't matter anyway because I still won. <laughs> I want to thank Coach Newton, first and foremost, <laughs> for, uh, for allowing me to go get them around. Coach <laughs> <laughs> Newton got nothing to do with this. <laughs> hey, and still, and new yeah, and champion new. and champion of the show, M-O-T-S. All right, let's go. Let's get up out of here. TP, we've had a lot of fun with you, but we got to get serious one more time, all right? Because, you know, we are. We talked about how you got started. We talked about what made you choose Aggies and all of that stuff happened in the past. But the title of the show is Sports Life Talks. You got next. So my question to you is, what's up next for Talia Parker? The goal is to win state and to also be the best version of myself. That's the goal. Very simple. This is your last. This is your last year at SGP. You'll never be able to pick up a ball and be a, a high school All American again. But uh, what are you gonna miss most? Is it, is it gonna be the buses? Is it gonna be the practices? Is it gonna be the teammates? Is it gonna be the 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 the, the court play? What what are you gonna miss most about yeah. high school basketball? Definitely the teammates. Ever since my junior year, they welcomed me with open arms. Our relationship was good on and off the court. So I would definitely say the relationships, my teammates. Or do you have any shout outs you want to give? Yes, I want to shout out to my cousin Justin, rest in heaven. Then I want to shout out to my coaches over all the years. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching me for this long. I appreciate the support. And y'all really family. Y'all family. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I feel like I got robbed because I, I just started. People don't know this, but people who watch the show know this. But I just started watching high school girls basketball a year ago. Kevin kind of got me into it, and I fell in love with it. It's like my favorite thing. I don't even, I don't even know what's going on in the NBA no more. <laughs> I'm over here watching. I'm watching North Carolina, South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of game yeah. I'm watching. But I look back at your career and I started studying. I was like, I hate, I hate, I missed four years of watching this young lady who it would have been, it would have been a blessing. But we got this year, so we go, we go enjoy. We're gonna ride in the sunset this year, and then we head down to College Station. All right, KT. I don't know if I'm going to College Station right now, B. Jones. I'm in my, I'm in my feelings. All right, so <laughs> this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. Tell them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Talia, who you calling out? Who should have next? Taylor Barnes, class of 2025, SGP. That's who I shout out. That's who I shout out. She's a dog. That's Is she dog. cold? She cold? Yeah. All right. Oh, nah, we, we ain't heard of her yet. All right, Kayla Barnes. Hey. You are officially on the clock. Your ticket just got punched. You are up next to tell us your incredible story. 2024 is lining up to be nothing but bangers. So we super excited about having you on the show. But Talia Parker, 
the beauty model, the basketball hoop sensation. You got next. You are, I mean, you're amazing, young lady. You are, you are so talented. You're authentic. You're genuine. You're real. I'm just telling you, I'm super impressed and so excited about your career. We're going to be rocking with you every step of the way, following your career and anything you need. Please let us know. You are extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Hey, thank you all for watching another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. Y'all already know Texas A&M. We need y'all to show up and show out on this show, too. We thank y'all so much. The year's already kicked off. We've given y'all all Americans. We give y'all up and coming all Americans. The sauce we putting out right now. I'm telling you, this show is tougher than the two dollar steak. I'm just all I'm gonna say right now. We bringing it. Make sure y'all keep showing us some love. Make sure y'all. Hey, this is your chance to become the MVP again. Hey, smash that subscribe button. Share this show. Share this content. Dig into the archives. We got. I'm telling y'all, it's hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours of content for you to enjoy. And uh, make sure you hit that like button. Um, and, and you know what? Let's let's up the ante a little bit. Let's turn it up. We need y'all to do one more other thing. It won't cost you anything. <laughs> we promise you. We ain't going to cost you nothing. But make sure you tap in with us at on our social media platforms, at Sports Life Talk, all one word. That is at Sports Life Talk talk we drop content every single day we the hardest working podcast in the game tp i tell you we on the sidelines we yeah. in the booth we be working we're gonna keep doing this thing we're gonna keep bringing y'all heat and amazing content and if you want to be on the show kayla barnes got a, got her, her spot laid out but we know it's a lot of y'all that still need to be on this show and we can't find everybody so if your story is up next and you got next go to our website at slt you got next.com make sure you click on the nomination tab and just tell us a little bit of what makes you special and why you feel like you got next and uh we'll take it from there we're gonna give you an audition to come on the show and last but not least you know i'm, I'm fighting i'm fighting a little bit of cold but normally I got some smooth velvety tones coming out of my pipes. But uh, but with that being said, you can listen to this show in the audio form at any time. You don't have to watch this on YouTube. You can download the show on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast. You can take You Got Next on the road. So whether that means you're riding your car, you're cooking in the kitchen, you're working out in the gym, you can hear this inspiration and these amazing stories of athletes and coaches who are doing big things. All right, KT, man. I don't know. I feel like I want Coach Taylor watch this show, dog. So I'm I'm on cloud nine right now. I don't think I'm going to come down for another three, four weeks. We're going to see y'all at SGP pretty soon. But KT, yeah. let's go home. Well, at least one of us is on the high right now, B. Jones. I'm, I, say, I can't get out of my feelings. Okay, now I'm out. I'm out. Before we hit the locker room, let's give a round of applause to our play cousin, Mr. Leah Parker. Just like a well-executed play, we cover some winning strategies today. Time to hit the showers, but don't worry. We will be back with more Slam Duck content soon. And that is the truth. TP, show them that J. Show them that J before you get up out of here. Swish! Why does she let's, look away when she did? Hey, let's go. Hey, because that's how dope she is. That's how dope she is. Sports Life Talk Nation, we love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet! See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast the tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, it's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sports life talking this.